dear students welcome to mathematics online classes in this class we will take remaining problems of the exercise 8.1 <coughs> in the 8.1 exercise of two problem number 10 or in the last video problem number 11 is find the area of the region bounded by y square is equal to 4x and the line x is equal to 3 this one is very simple i want you to solve this problem number 11 y square is equal to 4x parabola will be like this we need to write it clearly here vertex is at the origin and the line x is equal to 3 from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 3 you need to integrate that problem is left to you i will move on to the next question that is question number 12th one question number 12 is that is uh, choose the correct answer type question it is area area lying area lying in the first quadrant area lying in the first quadrant and and bounded bounded by the circle bounded by the circle x square plus y square is equal to 4 and the lines and the lines and the lines x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 is option a pi option b pi by 2 option c pi by 3 option d it is pi by 4 <coughs> okay area lying in first quadrant bounded by the circle see circle is x square plus y square is equal to 4 that can be written as x square plus y square is equal to 2 square what is the radius here radius is 2 so 2 in its length here it is this is x is equal to 2 okay. they ask you to find out area between x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 2 and in the first quadrant you have to be careful first quadrant it is i am considering dx area is equal to here i no need to take uh, four times only in first quadrant they asked in the sense single time from where to where from 0 to 2 y into dx what is y see this curve is uh, x square plus y square is equal to 2 square means y square is equal to 2 square minus x square y is equal to what y is equal to square root of uh, 2 square minus x square Yes, integrate it 0 to 2 square root of 2 square minus x square into dx. Integration of 2 square minus x square. It is like square root of a square minus x square integration. Standard result we know x by 2 into whatever is there. I am writing it directly. Plus of a square by 2 means it is 2 square by 2 into sin inverse of x by a means here it is x by 2 from 0 to 2 yes one time 2 to get cancelled here substituting the upper limit 2 by 2 into 2 square minus 2 square 0 plus 2 into sin inverse of 2 by 2 means sin inverse of 1 minus of substituting the lower limit 0 here sin inverse of 0 is also 0 this is 2 into sin inverse of 1 is pi by 2 2 to get cancels out answer is pi what is this option a correct this is a, if theory question is asked for 2 mark or 3 mark this is how we have to solve but uh, as it is a multiple choice questions if it appears in the CAT then very easily we can solve how anyhow from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 2 it is asked you know so they are asking you complete area but in first quadrant you have to be careful area our required area is equal to 1 by 4 times because only one part they are asking you out of four parts one by four parts into what into area of circle right area of circle one by four into area of circle we will use the uh, standard result that is pi r square any of they will not ask you how you did how you did it pi r square pi into r is to r square two square two square four 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 get cancel answer five within uh, two or three steps uh, we can solve it
this is about a problem number 12. Now, we will take the last question in the exercise that is problem number 13. Problem number 13 is area of the region, area of the region bounded by the curve, bounded by the curve y square is equal to 4x comma y axis and the line and the line y is equal to 3 is option a it is 2 option b is 9 by 4 option c is 9 by 3 option d is 9 by 2 so Let us draw the graph of this area of the region bounded by y square is equal to 4x. y square is equal to 4x is a parabola symmetric with respect to the x axis. This is how it comes. This is what y square is equal to 4x. Next. And then find area of the region bounded by y square is equal to 4x, y axis comma y axis this y axis we need to include the line y equal to 3 where will be the y equal to 3 y equal to 3 is a line parallel to x axis passing through the point 0 comma 3 this is the line y is equal to 3 y axis they said you know area bounded by the curve comma y axis means uh, which area i have to find out i have to find out this area here let us consider horizontal strips area is equal to area is equal to integration of a here horizontal strips are considered in the sense dy comes this is x into dy x into dy from where to where i have to integrate from x axis to y equal to 3 x axis means this is y is equal to 0 0 to 3 i have to integrate okay what is x x is y square is equal to x by uh, 4x means this implies x is equal to y square by 4 okay integrating from 0 to 3 y square by 4 into d1 1 by 4 is constant multiple write it outside into integration of y square with respect to y integration of y square is y cube by 3 from 0 to 3 this is 1 by 4 into substituting the upper limit it becomes 3 cube by 3 minus of 0 3 cube 3 is 3 times 3 is single time 1 time 3 will get cancelled 1 by 4 into 3 square it is what is 3 square 3 square is 9 9 by 4 square in its is the area here so option b correct Dear students, with this uh, exercise 8.1 completed. Next, uh, they have given you uh, one circular regarding the reduction of the syllabus. In the reduction of syllabus uh, for the corresponding year 2020-2021, area between two curves is removed. Only area under simple curves is that. Area under uh, uh, area between two curves as it is removed, uh, it comes in second exercise so second part we are not going to do with this actually this completes with this the concept means uh, the chapter itself completes but uh, area under simple curves problems are there even in the miscellaneous part also from this chapter even miscellaneous questions may appear sometimes one or two times uh, that, that question has appeared already for the three mark from this chapter one three mark question and one five mark question a total of eight mark will appear from this so from the miscellaneous part i want you to solve all this area under simple curves area under simple curves you solve no need to solve all area between two curves and all area between simple curves let me solve one or two problems 
from that part also means from the miscellaneous part from the miscellaneous part miscellaneous example 3 i will take miscellaneous example 3 that is find the area bound bounded by the curve find the area bounded by the curve <coughs> y is equal to cos x area bounded by the curve y is equal to cos x between between x is equal to 0 between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 pi see uh, in the same way here i am solving y is equal to cos x i want you to solve y is equal to sin x also in the same way <coughs> find the area bounded by uh, bounded by y is equal to cos x how will be the graph of y is equal to cos x this is y axis this is x axis see on x axis we will consider the domain values 0 pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi <coughs> okay what is x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 y value is cos 0 cos 0 value is 1 here it is plus 1, somewhere here it is minus 1, point is 0, 1. So, curve starts from here. What is cos 90? Cos 90 is 0. So, graph takes the form like this. They ask you to uh, up to 2 pi. So, here is 2 pi. Which area I have to find out? Eh? First one, second one, third one. Total <coughs> 3 parts. <coughs> okay. Here, instead of calculating all 4, if you take all 4 areas together, you will get areas 0, complete area is 0, that is wrong. Here, area is included in the below the x axis, negative side it is included, you know, if you integrate directly from 0 to 2 pi, you will get this area as a 0, I mean sorry, if this area is negative, these two areas are positive, negative positives get cancelled out. Hence, what you do here, area is equal to see if i draw a line here i am dividing the total area i have to calculate here into four equal parts first area second area third area and a fourth area all four parts will be having the same areas so instead of calculating all four what i do i will take four times four times then i will integrate only this part i am integrating only this much dx so four times uh, integrating from 0 to pi by 2 means from the line x is equal to 0 to this is pi by 2 point is pi by 2 comma 0 so this line will be x is equal to pi by 2 0 to pi by 2 i will integrate on the line uh, y y is equal to cos x into uh, sorry y is equal to cos x it is uh, this is y dx four times i am taking instead of taking like instead of integrating 0 to pi by 2, pi by 2 to pi, uh, pi to 3 pi by 2, 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi, like that also you can go. <coughs> but uh, this area you will get negative, that should be taken as positive. Yes, because area cannot be negative. Area is equal to 4 times uh, integrating from 0 to pi by 2, y into dx. Very simple that is. 4 times uh, integrating from 0 to pi by 2, what is y? y is cos x here, cos x into dx now let us integrate area is equal to 4 times integration of cos x is sin x sin x from 0 to pi by 2 4 into substituting the upper limit this is sin pi by 2 minus substituting the lower limit sin 0 4 into sin pi by 2 is 1 1 minus 0 4 into 1 so area is 4 square units this also comes under the concept of area under simple curves. Only one curve is there here. So, it is area under simple curves only. 
for squares in the same way i want you to solve find the area bounded by uh, bounded by the curve y is equal to sin x and between the lines x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 pi if they asked you to find out uh, area from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to pi means x is equal to pi up to here only two times you should take okay miscellaneous example one more let me take one more that is miscellaneous example one i will take this is that is also area under simple curves concept miscellaneous example whatever i solved it is not a miscellaneous example three it is miscellaneous example 13 <coughs> Now miscellaneous example 11 that is find the area of the parabola, find the area of the parabola <coughs> y square is equal to 4ax bounded by bounded by its lattice rectum bounded by its lattice rectum. Okay. See, find the area of the parabola y square is equal to 4x. Let us draw the graph of y square is equal to 4x first. This is y axis and x axis. y square is equal to 4x will be like this. This is y square is equal to 4ax. <coughs> then, if you want to separate for y, y is equal to this is square root of 4a into x square root of 4 is 2, 2 into root a into root x we can write, let it be as it is. Now by the lattice rectum, what do you mean by lattice rectum? Lattice rectum is a line passing through the focus and a perpendicular to the principal axis. What is the principal axis? Principal axis is a x axis, focus will be somewhere here, this is y square is equal to 4x means this focus coordinates will be a comma 0. Lattice rectum in the sense the line which is passing through the focus and perpendicular to the principal axis. Okay. This is x is equal to a passing through the point a comma 0 and perpendicular to the x axis or parallel to y axis. Here will be the line this is x is equal to minus a that is directrix parallel to the directrix also used to say. Oh, which area I have to find out here? This complete area we need to find out. And area below this one also, symmetric area, same area it is, we will not consider. We will take two times dx, integrating from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a. Oh, area is equal to, area a is equal to, same area is there in the, even the below the x axis also, two times. From x is equal to 0, the area is starting it is 0 of to x is equal to a y into dx 2 into integrating from 0 to a what is a a is a, sorry what is a y y is 2 into root a into root x into dx 2 into root a you take out of the integral 2 into 2 into root a it is 4 into root a integrating from 0 to a root x we will write it as x raised to 1 by 2 okay this is 4 into root a into integration of x raised to 1 by 2 is x raised to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 1 by 2 plus 1 from 0 to a 4 into root a into substituting the upper limit it is a raised to 1 by 2 plus 1 is a 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 minus of 0 this is 4 into root a into a raised to 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 is nothing but into 2 by 3. 4 into 2 is 8. 8 by 3, it is root a into a raised to 3 by 2. Let us simplify this. 8 by 3 into root a is there, you know. Root a we can write it as a raised to 1 by 2 into a raised to 3 by 2. So, 8 by 3 into a raised to, a raised to 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2. 
8 by 3 into a raised to 1 by 2 plus 1 LCM is to 1 plus 3 is 4 2 1s are 2 2s are this is 8 by 3 a square square units 8 by 3 into a square square units is the area bound area bounded by the parabola y square is equal to 4x and it's a let us correct okay with this we are ending with the chapter that is application of integrals please watch all these videos clearly and uh, practice the chapter thank you